Hi, everybody. Could you use some good news? Well, let's start with this. Researchers at the University of Michigan have developed a new and, they think, better method of teaching evolution. Despite being arguably the most important theory of modern science, many students have trouble grasping evolution. The UM researchers have devised a new teaching method that presents complete evolutionary case studies, tracing the evolution of a particular trait, beginning at the molecular level and following it all the way out to its effects on the population. According to the results published in the July issue of Bioscience, students taught evolution using this new comprehensive method displayed not only a better understanding of the specific case studies they were taught, but also of general evolutionary principles. Next up, research conducted by scientists at Johns Hopkins University may have answered one of the most persistent questions of modern astrophysics. How are black holes able to produce such large amounts of high-energy x-rays? The team, which also included scientists from NASA and the Rochester Institute of Technology, confirmed a widely held hypothesis that the high-energy hard x-rays are produced by the swirling super-hot gases of the black hole's corona. But the really interesting part is how they did it. Using a series of complex equations that describe every aspect of how gases behave as they are drawn into a black hole, including motion, temperature, and magnetic fields, the scientists created a computer simulation that took the supercomputer called Ranger at the University of Texas 27 days to complete. That's one hell of a math problem, and an answer to one hell of a fascinating question. Finally, a team of scientists at Penn State University have discovered a nanoparticle that could lead to the development of inexpensive clean energy technology that uses water for fuel. The nanoparticle is nickel phosphide. It's cheap, it's easy to make, and it catalyzes the chemical reaction that releases hydrogen from water, a process necessary for many emerging clean energy technologies, including fuel cells. The nickel phosphide nanoparticles performed even better than expected at producing hydrogen in tests. The researchers hope to not only refine the use of nickel phosphide nanoparticles in hydrogen production, but to discover even better catalysts made from similarly easy to find elements. A better method of teaching evolution is developed, a massive computer simulation has solved the mystery of black hole x-rays, and an inexpensive nanoparticle may have opened the door to clean energy. That's the good news. Are you happy that you're all done? Huh? You're not speaking to me anymore? <laughs>